Today, I want to explore the idea with you that in the light of impermanence, non-attachment is freedom and joy and could even lead to ecstasy. So let's unpack this a little bit. A fundamental principle articulated with various traditions and philosophies reflecting the reality that all conditioned existence without exception is transient, evanescent, and inconstant. This is not only explored in Eastern traditions like uh, Buddhism and Vedanta, but it was also introduced through Greek philosophy by Heraclitus. Heraclitus, I think is the right pronunciation. It was introduced through Greek philosophy by Heraclitus, who famously encapsulated this idea in one phrase, everything flows. He also called it becoming. So impermanence, the fundamental truth that all things are in constant state of flux, serves as a cornerstone for understanding the profound connection between non-attachment, freedom, and joy. By embracing the transient nature of existence, we unlock the potential for a more liberated and fulfilling life. Non-attachment, often misunderstood as indifference, is actually a powerful mindset that allows us to engage fully with life without becoming overly fixated on outcomes or possessions. In this context, in the context of impermanence, in the context of impermanence, we actually find non-attachment as a gateway to true freedom and lasting joy. When we recognize that nothing lasts forever, we can begin to loosen our grip on things we believe define, define ourselves. This process of letting go is at the heart of non-attachment. By relinquishing our need to control or possess, we free ourselves from the burden of expectations and the fear of loss. Consider the analogy of holding sand in your hand or even maybe trying to hold water in your hand. The tighter you squeeze, the more sand slips through your fingers. Similarly, when we cling desperately to people, objects, or ideas, we often find them slipping away. Non-attachment allows us to hold life's experiences gently, appreciating them fully while they last, and gracefully letting them go when the time comes. One of the most significant benefits of practicing non-attachment is the development of emotional resilience. When we are not overly attached to specific outcomes or identities, we become more adaptable in the face of change. This flexibility is crucial in navigating life's inevitable ups and downs. Actually, research has shown that individuals who practice non-attachment experience reduced stress and anxiety, greater emotional stability, and increased overall well-being. Also, non-attachment enhances our relationships. Counterintuitively, non-attachment can significantly improve our relationships. When we release the need to control or change others, we create space for genuine connection and understanding. This approach allows relationships to evolve naturally without the burden of unrealistic expectations. Even in romantic relationships, non-attachment will foster open and honest communication, will reduce fear and loss of abandonment, fear, fear of loss of abandonment, and create a deeper appreciation for presence in the moment. Non-attachment rooted in the understanding of impermanence naturally leads to a greater focus on the present moment. 
when we're not constantly worrying about the future or clinging to the past, we can fully immerse ourselves in the here and now. This present moment awareness is a direct path to joy. By savoring each experience as it unfolds without grasping or aversion, we open ourselves to the richness of life. Simple pleasures become more vivid and even challenging moments can be approached with curiosity and equanimity. Developing a non-attached mind, non mindset is a gradual process that requires practice and patience. Here are some strategies to cultivate non-attachment. Mindfulness meditation. Regular practice helps develop awareness of thoughts and emotions without becoming entangled in them. Gratitude exercises. Focusing on appreciation rather than acquisition can shift our perspective on what truly matters. Embracing change, actively seeking out new experiences can help us become more comfortable with impermanence. And practicing letting go, regularly decluttering physical possessions can be a tangible way to practice non-attachment. Now, This concept is very deeply rooted also in the understanding of freedom from suffering. So in Buddhism, uh, impermanence or anicca, A-N-I-C-C-A, is a fundamental concept that profoundly influences our understanding of suffering or dukkha. The opposite of Dukkha is called Sukha, peace, peace that passes understanding. The Buddha's teachings emphasize that recognizing and accepting the impermanent nature of all things is crucial for overcoming suffering and achieving enlightenment. So you've heard of the Four Noble Truths, right? The truth of suffering or Dukkha. Suffering is, in Helen, in, is an inherent part of existence. It includes not only physical pain, but also emotional and psychological distress. That's called Dukkha. Then the second noble truth is the truth of the causes of suffering, Samudaya. Suffering is caused by craving and attachment to that which is ungraspable. We suffer because we cling to things that are impermanent, hoping they will provide lasting happiness. The third noble truth is the truth of the end of suffering called Nirodha. It is possible to end suffering by relinquishing attachment and craving. And the fourth noble truth, the path to the end of the suffering or Marga, the eightfold path provides a practical guide to overcoming suffering through ethical conduct, mental discipline and wisdom. So this is the path to liber liberation. This is the path to liberation. Practice mindfulness meditation. These days, I reflect a lot on the inev inevitability of death. It deepens the understanding of impermanence and reduces fear of attachment. It also leads to ethical con conduct and ultimately to wisdom and insight. So my friends, I hope you find this is useful. And you can engage with me or my digital twin at digitaldeepak.ai and uh, actually uh, Digital Dharma is available to guide you to use prompts that will help you uh, find uh, personal well-being and also elevate spiritual intelligence. Let me know if this is useful. Okay. God bless. Thank you.